Okay, going to try this again. I keep getting interrupted. I'm getting pretty mad. Um, I follow Lauren Southern on YouTube. And unlike a lot of people in the U.S., she's actually going across seas and experiencing things. Uh, in the U.S., I argue with a lot of people, a lot of people who want to know it all, don't know crap, but they think they know it all. At least in the United States, and they's uh, raised up a certain way or whatever, they think they know it all, and uh, they have their beliefs, they don't want to come off of it, they're stubborn, they're biased, they just don't want to hear anything. Unlike these idiots, Lauren Southern's actually going across seas and filming things, interviewing people, reporting back. She's living it up, she's getting herself educated. Unlike these idiots in the United States, who just ain't going to hear nothing, they've never been anywhere, done nothing, but they think they know everything. So I'm here to uh, ask you to uh, click on the link that I leave in the description of Laura Southern so she can, uh, that's where I got my information. Things I've been saying for many, many years. <clears throat> uh, back when George W. Bush was president, uh, MySpace days, and switching over to Facebook, uh, you know, I've been politically active for a long time, uh, trying to tell people things. <clears throat> And Christians and Jews have got to figure it figured out, but the atheists don't. A lot of people argue with are atheists. And uh, in this situation, that's not their belief or what they don't believe in, so they say anyway. Uh, that's the issue. Uh, I'm talking about, you know, God in that situation. It's um, the fact that they think that we're... Christians and the Jews believe in God that they're blind by stuff and I've been trying to tell them for years it's not what you think and I'll back anything that I say in this video up with freaking proof now you can call me Islamophobe if you want to I cannot stand Muslims Islam and all that freaking crap and I can back everything up with their own writings on why I don't like them where I get my disbelief. It doesn't come from somebody else saying, well, so, no, I'm not stupid. I look at their sources, their words, their beliefs, their writings, their books, their holy books that they follow and believe. First thing, going with the the popular belief, the 90% are good and only 10% are bad. Uh, there's several things not true about that. Let's go with this first. Uh, the 10% are the ones following the Quran directly, Muhammad's words. 90%, and if that, you know, if that was true, by the way, how come the 90% doesn't stop the 10%? You see, there's a, a RF law right there. But going on that, aside from that and everything, the 90% are actually doing what they call, uh, I think it's pronounced the key. It's their will to lie for the better of Islam, which means they can lie about anything. The only thing they're permitted to lie about is the bettering of Islam. But the lie is a lie. You can twist a lie in any direction you want, but you can lie about anything. Every other culture and belief in the world forbids lying altogether. The one being defended so heavily is the one that allows the lying. Muslims, Islam, are the inventors of slavery. 700 million people dead in 1400 years. That does include rapes, all kinds of abuses, violence, things like that. Billions of people are victims from Islam. This goes on and on. From their own teachings, I can show you this stuff, man. From their own teachings, I can show you this stuff. First people that were enslaved were white people. That's where the word slave comes from. The Slavs. Islam enslaved them. All the stuff in the United States right now, it was Islam that enslaved the blacks. The whites went and bought the black slaves and brought them to the U.S. where they were eventually freed. Now, I know there's issues in the United States. I don't deny that part of it, but keep in mind also that... Uh, it was the Democrats that had the black slaves. The Republican Party was formed to free the black, well, the slaves, not just, there's more than just black slaves here, there's white slaves and others too. But the Republican Party was formed to free slaves. I know there's issues, I'm not denying that, but that's the basis of it. And for all you people that want to go out there and mouth off about a party flip, there was no damn party flip. That's all a lie. That's just no Democrat lie trying to cover their tracks. There was no party flip. 
and never happened. It's a lie. Now I say my case, I hate Islam. Now getting back to the main point. Oh, something else by the way, but go back to that uh, 90% Muslim, 10% Muslim thing, you know, good Muslim, bad Muslim. Actually, statistics from the U.S. Department of Defense and stuff like that shows it's probably more like 25% uh, to 30% are violent instead of only 10%. Anybody that wants to mouth off about, well, you know, still not the majority and everything, you know, why this and that, well, the majority of Germans weren't Nazis, but look how that turned out. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't take the majority. It only takes a, a, a little bit. Even at 10%, they can do damage. Uh, Going back to point on the Muslims, uh, Islam, uh, the atheists, the Jews, and the Christians. The Jews and Christians have it figured out. The atheists don't. As they sit there and argue with me about stuff, this is something I have literally said for years now. I have said that going on the basis that Muslims will take over, uh, the U.S. or the world, is whichever area, region, or even world that you want to uh, go along with, the atheists would be laying in a pool of their own blood, dying, beside the Christians and the Jews. But unlike the Christians and the Jews, atheists are going to be wondering what happened, why was they killed, what went wrong. The Christians and Jews already know it's because Islam's evil and violent. The atheists are going to be the ones in for the rude awakening because they're so biased on their views and claims and everything. They think that atheists and Jews are their mortal enemy. Because basically they believe in God where, where the atheists don't. And that's the, uh, much of the basis for disagreements. Of course, other things come into play, but the main thing is one group believes in God, the other group doesn't. Well, actually, two groups believe in God, and this over here doesn't. And um, so that brings me back to the point why did, well, what I said there, what does that mean? Well, Lauren Southern has. A video out and I'm going to share it in the description so click on the link for Southern to show you over there in uh, these camps that the atheists and Christians are together over there why about being raped and murdered and stabbed and everything else but I guess who if you said Islam you are correct my words that I've been saying for years is coming true once again, many things, one of the many things I've said has come true. I said many other things have come true also. I want to make that point. Anybody has a problem with what I said about Islam tonight? You know, your person can kiss my butt. I don't care what you think. But second thing is, I can back it up. I can show you the Quran itself, their beliefs. I can show you things that Muhammad has said. I can show you all kinds of stuff. I can show you the, the key, the ideology, how it supports, how they, uh, Start and the takeover region and stuff like that. It goes on and on and on. So, I'm not concerned with what you think. I mean, I was an Islamophobe, fine. The hell with you, you're part of the problem. You're stupid. No, that's why I'll tell you right now. You you want to be mad at me because I was speaking against Muslims? You're a stupid motherfucker, is what you are. You can kiss my ass. I don't care. I can back everything I said up on Islam. I've been studying it for a long time and I hate them. Uh, and people want to well, you know what this is earlier and a friend of mine we discuss things rationally uh, when I talk about hating the left wing I do get mad about things else sometimes I shouldn't I said I hate the left wing and he told me that hating is bad I'm like all right but before I agree or disagree with you let me ask you this the majority of the world right wing and left wing hates uh, Adolf Hitler and Nazis and the ideology is that right or wrong which he come back and said he feels that it is wrong, but he did say well, he's going to be more careful about point of view, so I give him credit. However, I'm not going to back out this one because uh, Nazis, they're, they're running terror is very, very small compared to Islam. Uh, the world primarily focuses on Nazism. There's so many more dictators out there done more. I mean, take Zhao, uh, uh, Lao Zedong or what his name is something like that Chinese uh, he killed a whole lot more than Hitler ever did he killed more than Hitler and Stalin and some of the other dictators combined uh, the only people the only ones that beat out him pretty much is Islam so I mean we're <laughs> God, we're talking about probably ten times the amount of people dead from Islam just dead that's not including other things that's not including slavery and 
grapes, things like that, and you know, meetings. So anyway, I want to make that point. Hey, this, you better wake up. Stuff's coming true, like I've been saying. And, uh, click on the link, I'll show you. Lauren Southern shows you. I'm telling you. Coming true. You better watch out. And I don't mean that in a Christmas song way, but either. It just, it just occurred to me when I said that. Well, it sounds like a Christmas song, doesn't it? I didn't mean that. So, I don't care. I don't like Islam. If you got a problem with that, then you can suck my butt. I don't care. <laughs>